Hello to all my story lovers. Welcome back in Story Time Channel. Today I am reading chapter number twenty six. Not all's wrong with the next generation. Written by the great Sudha Murthy, and the taken from the book Wise and Otherwise. Recently, I visited Egypt. I wanted to see the oldest pyramid in the country. It is not in Giza, but in Saqqara, twenty-four kilometer from Cairo. It is a five-step pyramid built for the Pharaoh Djoser. The architect was Empentep, the most intelligent and wise man at that time. While I was traveling, I was accompanied by a guide who also happened to be a well-read student of Egyptology. He was describing the writings on some of the pyramids, pointing to some inscription. He translated aloud. The children of the next generation will be spent thrift, will not think much, and will not know much about life. We do not know what their future will be. Only the sun god Ra can save them. While this was being read out to me, I remembered the oft heard complaints about the next generation in our own country that youngster do not respect our ideas that they are rude that they don't read much it struck me that every generation has the same complaints about the next one this has been going on from generation to generation all over the world for at least the last 5 thousand years today's children have far more knowledge and far less patience compared to our generations i casually asked my teenage son the other day tell me the three most important revolutions or ideas of the 20th century he looked at me for a while and said you behave like a teacher even at home the most important revolutions and ideas of the century according to me are the principle of non violence the effect of violence and the impact of communication media i will explain it to you he went on noticing my surprise when india was ensel for centuries when we did not have any power to make our decision a thin little man started a new kind of movement without blood shed no weapons no money but a message to the rulers we will not cooperate with you come what may he won freedom for india with this new thinking he really deserved the nobel prize for peace he was mohandas karamchand gandhi the father of our nation his revolutionary idea influenced leaders like martin luther king jr nelson mandela and ang sui suu kyi in gaining freedom for their people the second idea was almost during the same period but in the reverse direction this man believed in the idea of hatred he thought he could rule people with weapons and violence he killed people like flies he never understood the meaning of love and kindness he could not bring peace by his method and became a cause for world war 2 millions of people suffered because of him and his policies his life is the best example of war intolerance and prejudice he was adolf hitler i thought that my son had a point but i still felt that computer was the most important invention of the 20th century the young teenager did not agree today the world had shrunk because of mass media in a matter of seconds we can come to know what is happening anywhere in the world television 
and the internet are part of it this has cut the cost of communication and barriers are disappearing you can see its effect in the business world as well as in social life that doesn't mean we are losing our old culture but i can say we are exposed to other cultures also i was surprised with my son whom long ago i had taught how to hold a pencil now he was talking like an experienced adult about global subject like peace violence and communication i am sure that many parents will often have the same thoughts they might have also experienced how their little ones have become wiser than themselves our scriptures say the one who acquires knowledge should be respected irrespective of age gender or class my son wants to study abroad and i always wonder if this little boy of mine could manage alone after this conversation with him i realize that his young bird's wing have become strong and healthy the time has come for him to fly on his own and see the world this is the end of the experience shared by sudha murthy do you like it then comment it and subscribe our channel thanks for watching guys